guys, I wanted to give you a tutorial for round brushing. So first I'm prepping my hair with a little bit of dramatic repair. And yes, as you can see, I still have my roots as well. I spray it all over and then I work with a little bit of my prime just to prepare my hair for heat. I use a little bit of the perfecting serum and the marula. That way it just gives a nice slick surface before I start doing the tension of the round brush. I'm choosing to use the Hydro Mist in Awapui Wild Ginger just because I wanna be able to rewear my hair so it's a lightweight control. Now before I round brush with that medium round brush, I do wanna make sure that I go ahead and power dry my hair a little bit, get most of that moisture out. I do take my hair in quite a few sections. So as you can see, I about, do about um, from the top section of my head, then I go about from my temples, and then down just below my ear. I do split my back in half. So right down the middle of the back, I pull it over my shoulder. Now, I want you guys to notice when I'm round brushing my hair where my concentrator, which is that funny shaped thing on the end of your blow dryer, is setting up against the round brush. So if you notice, I put that round brush over the top portion of the hair and I direct that airflow away from my scalp. So I'm going down and away from the scalp. You can see I'm almost pointing a little bit more forward. I wanna make sure that I am closing that cuticle down. So even if I flip it over on the back side of my hairbrush, or flip it over backwards, I am still pointing it down with my hair shaft, going basically, in a sense, with the grain of the hair. So keeping the blow dryer closer to my head and pushing the airflow away from my head. And as so, also, if you notice, when I am round brushing, I'll go a little bit forward, a little bit backwards. That's gonna get me a lot more movement in the hair. So as far as um, not just pulling it straight down. As you notice, when I get a little bit higher on the head, I'm not pulling the hair down so much, but pulling it more, a little bit more left and a little bit more right. So as you notice, I go forward with it, and now I'm lifting it up and going backwards with it. I'm still keeping that airflow and that concentrator on the top part of my blow dryer, blow drying it away from my head. Going towards my face and then away from my face. One thing that I love about this Neuro Round Brush is the actual round brush itself. It's a titanium base, so it's going to work like a curling iron. So as you can see, I'm getting a little bit more of a bend and a curl in my hair there. Um, that titanium base heats up with the blow dryer. Now, as you can see, I'm concentrating the air in that center portion of that round brush, but that heat is going to be evenly distributed across that round brush. So no matter what, I'm getting a little bit of heat on the inside of the hair strands themselves also but it's working almost like a I'm not only round brushing but I'm also working it like a curling iron as well So I want you to notice on this next section, what I'm actually gonna do is size it up with my round brush. It's almost a little bit wider than my round brush, so I'm gonna split it in two sections. You never wanna take too big of a section when you're round brushing. So still going forward and backwards. As you can see, when I'm actually blow drying, I'm pulling it completely forward. I'm putting my round brush um, first on the underneath side and blow drying it forward. And you see I'm still in that top half of the round brush. And then when I go forward with it, I flip my blow dryer to the front. I'm still over directing the hair towards my nose. So going towards my face both ways to get that ultimate uh, lift and volume. You can see I want to make sure that I'm blow drying it off and away from my face. But everything is still going more up. I'm not pulling it directly down. I'm putting still a little bit more bend in there just to give a little bit more shape right on the face. But as you can see, still pointing that air away from my scalp and up on that top portion of the um, round brush. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit more diagonal. This is where my bangs set in. I'm keeping a lot of different directions in with them to keep them to swoop right off my face. But as you can see, I'm actually round brushing them back and off my face that way. Now that it's all done, I do go back and touch up with my round brush that is still already heated just to get a little bit of softness, a little bit more of the Perfecting Serum and Marula, and that's my finished look. Thanks everyone.